welcome to today's video today's video is about biotech job i have already done one or two videos on uh, how to get biotech jobs after bsc i have done one or two videos but uh, this video will be comprehensive will be a one which is more comprehensive i will be covering each and every aspects each and every jobs a msc or bsc biotech people can get the question usually we ask biotech jobs is it much is, is it that much difficult to get mostly the question arises as, uh, among us is biotech is a subject where job opportunities are very less what i am saying if you choose the right path someone may restrict you to some uh, some types of jobs only uh, they may say you you will get this type of job only after biotech so you if you restrict among th that only then it will be difficult what if you can if you uh, be flexible and go in search of the jobs the biotech jobs are not much difficult uh, to find um, uh, that is what I am going to discuss with you is biotech jobs that much difficult to get when we are studying uh, biotech courses our dream is either hyderabad or bangalore there are a lot of biotech companies we can enter there but that dream uh, most of us dream like that when we are taking biotech even btech biotech bsc biotech or mtech bi uh, msc biotech so that was our dream but uh, entering these companies is a bit difficult one uh, one thing if you need to enter a company you need a internal reference in if you have an internal reference it is very easy to enter Enter any many biotech companies. I have entered a biotech company uh, uh, just after my MSc. I had an internal reference, so it is very easy for me to enter. Only that internal reference name will be asked, and I can easily enter after the uh, yes, slightly um, uh, what average interview. So, uh, if you have an internal reference, it is very easy to enter these type of companies. The second thing um, uh, um, is uh, uh, what you need to have. Uh, enormous experience because you need to have uh, half a dozen to dozen years of experience to enter these type of companies and uh, uh, nowadays uh, the many of these companies are com coming with some courses in which we, uh, they make you ready for this uh, um, uh, this um, what uh, ready for you to enter the industry how much successful this course is i don't know i, I have not find anyone um, um, done this courses and entered the industry but i don't know about the um, um, uh, about the su success rate of these courses but the courses uh, cost much it cost around uh, 2 lakhs more than 2 lakhs uh, fees uh, you need to pay uh, for this type of courses. I think Biocon is uh, running one of these such, such courses. I don't know much about other companies. When we coming to um, uh, rest of the jobs here uh, in this presentation, I am not saying any any research jobs or anything on biotech, uh, uh, which which you are, can get. Uh, uh, that is temporary research jobs. That is project assistant, research assistant, research associate. That type of jobs I am not uh, touching uh, in this PPT. I am only dealing with the jobs, with permanent jobs, which you can get in some uh, institu institutions. First one is you can enter the industry, as I said. Um, um, uh, even if you have a internal reference or if you have good experience you can enter uh, the biotech industry the second one is uh, uh, you can enter uh, you can um, uh, 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 the second type of jobs are research or research related jobs usually biotech is a research research field so most of the jobs in biotech will be research and research related jobs you can you, you can um, after phd or even after msc with some experience you can enter uh, a research laboratory a uh, lot of research laboratory are there in uh, india there is more than 10 100 plus research laboratories uh, of government research laboratories are throughout india which is maintained by different different funding bodies so you can enter as a scientist even after uh, msc also you can enter as a scientist in uh, these type uh, these research institutions even if you can enter private uh, private companies or private institutions as scientists also so uh, uh, research means it is no, not restricted to scientists there are a lot of other jobs also related to uh, scientists 
you can enter as a technician, te technical assistant or technic uh, um, as a technician you can enter in any of the lab. Uh, the technician job is very, um, very safe and uh, you can even do research after the technician. I have seen many technicians um, uh, even after some experiences, um, they are uh, guiding, even guiding the students. So, um, uh, so technician or technical staffs can be, uh, can even guide the students. Um, you, uh, they can even do research as they get more experienced. So, um, uh, the technician job is somewhat a uh, uh, yeah, uh, very safe job, you can get a government job also. Next is the technical specialist. Usually, um, when you are doing your MSc or BSc, you try to be specialized in some techniques, some modern techniques. It will make you a, te a technical specialist. Usually, the company like Thermo, a lot of big companies need a technical specialist um, uh, who can um, who can go to different different research institution and help the researchers um, how to operate this instrument, how to, uh, troubleshooting if there are any trouble uh, occurring during the uh, experiments. Uh, they can go there and uh, troubleshoot uh, way involved in troubleshooting etc a lot of technical um, aspects you can deal with uh, usually the um, many companies are uh, uh, employing this type of technical specialist it's better when you are doing some uh, dissertation or doing some projects try to be specialized in one of the techniques which uh, one of the most advanced techniques which you are um, uh, doing in the laboratory the fifth uh, the, sorry the fourth one is marketing which is uh, not much explored um, field not much the people of biotech may not think they have a great scope in marketing even after bsc you can enter and uh, um, uh, be in the marketing field in marketing field i knew persons enter the marketing field after two three years uh, they they don't want to do, they don't need to do any field work they can uh, be the team leader and they don't need to do the field work uh, they will be in the office and they can control everything from the office and the marketing job is uh, uh, you have a great opportunity they are drawing a very good salary uh, even bigger than a researcher so uh, marketing jobs uh, uh, marketing jobs is have greater opportunities even after bsc you can enter the marketing jobs um, usually the technical specialist uh, te uh, technical specialist or uh, uh, technical uh, assistant job you better go after msc that is that will be better so that you can easily do a pl if you have a entering a a research institution as a technical uh, staff you can do uh, if you are uh, just MSc you can do a PhD and thereby you can en uh, you can enrich your research career also with the, your technical job there so um, this technical specialist or technical um, staff job you can do after MSc but marketing job, uh, job you can do after BSc also you can build up a great career after um, uh, you entering by entering the marketing job if you uh, if you um, start from a small company um, um, around around you lot of small distributors are around you start from a small company and uh, then try to enter a larger company if you enter a larger company your job will be so easy and uh, you can earn a lot from uh, that type of jobs and entrepreneurship is one of the uh, thing which we biotech people uh, used to um, neglect but uh, the government the biotech is giving a lot of money plenty of money lakhs and lakhs of money in starting uh, um, if you have a new idea you can start a your own company i i knew people who are um, who are uh, who with a great ideas are started very good companies are running very good lot of uh, lot of lot of ideas are coming lot of lot of products are coming from Bayrak. Bayrak is, uh, uh, is, uh, is being a very successful organization um, which uh, um, which makes lot of entrepreneurs lot of ideas uh, being translated uh, lot of things has been uh, is been doing by Bayrak and lot of money is being flowing through Bayrak. so uh, it's great opportunities mainly for PhDs it is better to do after PhD but mainly for PhDs you can uh, if you have greater ideas you can uh, you can um, contact by and you will get uh, plenty of uh, uh, money so that you can uh, you can execute your idea and uh, uh, be proud um, that uh, um, you have you you are helping the nation uh, by um, uh, your idea as well as uh, if you are Kerala people the KSIDC is a uh, institution which give a lot of uh, money for the um, uh, starting the for startup uh, biotech startup etc 
Kerala, there are two biotech parks are also there. So the Kerala people can focus on KCDC also. They are also giving plenty of money for entrepreneurship. You you can get into entrepreneurship. Um, entrepreneurship. This is a very good scope. Uh, you don't try to uh, look here and there and look for uh, some companies. Uh, you need you start yourself. And uh, if you have an idea, you start yourself. And uh, if it, if entrepreneurship, if you didn't get uh, money from this uh, this institution also. You, I think I have just uh, calculated even if you have 10, 10 to 15 lakhs you can start a small small companies you can start a mushroom culture company you can start a what um, um, this um, the mushroom culture and you can start a biofertilizer company if you have 10 15 lakhs and if you uh, you can start uh, uh, what um, uh, this um, uh, um, batter this uh, what um, uh, fermented products such as uh, uh, what uh, this uh, idli, dosha, batter, etc. companies manufacture. A lot of biotech people are entering this type of uh, uh, fermented products companies. So there are a lot of opportunities. If you didn't get, uh, because if you don't have an idea, if you didn't get money from this type of uh, institution, you can, if you have, um, if you can partnership with one or two people, uh, if you have about 10 to 15 lakhs, you can start this type of companies. Why? To search for jobs. So uh, all these types of jobs which uh, I have said will be quite difficult to get. I am not saying it is more difficult but it, uh, it's quite difficult to get. Uh, if you can't get uh, this type of jobs, why to worry? There are a lot of alternatives in before you. Lot of alternatives. I will say lot of alternatives. You need to, you need to search. Then only you will get. You need to search at the right time, then you can get a lot of plenty of jobs. If you, even if you do short term HSCCP calls, hazard analysis, critical control point courses, this HSCCP calls mainly make you um, uh, make you uh, set for quality control jobs. You can this uh, above level three. If you can do the, this type of uh, HSCCP calls, uh, it will cost much uh, some some. Uh, but uh, uh, if you can do this type of calls, you will get a job in uh, quality control institution uh, um, uh, companies. Mainly Middle East is hiring lot of people for the quality control uh, jobs, and they are paying a great also great amount of money also. So quality control jobs is a very good opportunity. Even if you if you have uh, BSc from if you are BS, it's a better time, better, better uh, after BSc you can do the HSCB and go, join as a quality control officer than uh, after MSc and doing, um, uh, going to quality control jobs because um, after BSc itself you can uh, directly enter as a quality control uh, officer where you can grow uh, up well. So government jobs are so, uh, very, very little government jobs. Government jobs means uh, there are uh, lecture jobs are there, teacher jobs are there, uh, so as um, um, uh, what scientist jobs are there. I am uh, not saying about that. I am um, saying the mainly other types of jobs. Uh, food safety officer. Usually every uh, every state is calling food safety officer in which uh, um, B.Sc. Biotech is eligible. So if you are B.Sc. Biotech, you can try for the food safety officer job. It is a greater opportunity you are going to get. One of the great opportunity you are going to get is IVF technician. It's better to do after MSc. That is better to do after MSc. Um, for um, better, if you after MSc, if you can do a IVF technician job, there are a lot of requirement of IVF technician qualified IVF technician um, uh, nowadays. So you can do uh, yes short term diploma course in IVF technician after your MSc, uh, so that you will be um, you will be technically uh, fit even enough for a IVF technician. And but you need Need, uh, initially yes you need to uh, work hard so that you can uh, in um, you know, two to five years you can set up as a uh, good IVF technician if you have skills so uh, you will get a good payment also after uh, being an IVF technician it's better to go after MSc you can I think you, you can go after BSc also medical coding uh, is one of the major uh, uh, major opportunity medical coding according as well as curator I am uh, just presenting in the single slide just it is there are two different aspects Medical coding or clinical research like that things is uh, uh, you have a great opportunity if you can go some short term courses in this medical coding um, uh, you can you, uh, by experience you can get a very good uh, salary and you can build up a career in there. As well as curator lot of the lot of biotech companies have their own curating, curation section. 
so i have also as i have started my career as a curator so i can see the curating as a greater opportunity um, uh, if you can build up your career as a curator curator means say uh, extracting uh, data from the paper um, like the things uh, we are doing if you can um, uh, uh, if you can uh, what if you can build up your career as a curator also you can you can grow well uh, most of the most of the biotech companies usually i have seen in bangalore most of the biotech companies are have a separate department as a curator you can enter there as a curator and if you can uh, if you can work in a clinical lab also you need to, to have some experience usually after msc it's better to do after msc biotech because a uh, lot of um, uh, uh, yeah, what a you can do after bsc also it is better to do after msc if you can enter uh, uh, msc after enter a small lab nearby and to and build up your experience so that you can get a, a good opportunity in clinical labs if you have experience you need to build up experience otherwise it will be do, too difficult if you can build up some experience in clinical labs you can enter a biochemistry or microbiology labs in mainly abroad you will get a very good salary another thing which we are not much focusing on is the science communication science communication is one of the major field which you can focus on you can write um, in newspapers you can uh, you, um, you can write in blogs you can write uh, in the, there is a great, great, good requirement of science communicators either in the form of writing or in the form of uh, drawing if you have a skill in drawing uh, you can go with a, a, a good career opportunity because most of the publishers request the people to uh, draw uh, 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 draw their uh, pictures uh, they need to have a uh, authentic uh, new new pictures when they are publishing new new books so your requirement will be very high yeah, you can go uh, to a new um, what a, uh, the um, newspapers you can uh, go to magazines you can go to uh, publishing companies and you can get a good career opportunity as a science communicator uh, i'm uh, ghost writing i'm saying it is a negative aspect or uh, uh, this name itself shows negative aspect or this uh, but But it is a very positive thing which you are uh, now going to get. Lot of uh, lot of institutions in India now working by writing the papers of uh, other people. Lot of institution. I just writing as ghost writing, but uh, it sounds negative. But it is uh, you can uh, you can earn a lot of money by writing theses, um, um, uh, research articles. Because lot of people uh, you which who are doing part time PhD etc. They will not get much time in writing, so they will give the data and write it to some others. You you can. Earn earn a good uh, uh, money with the uh, uh, writing research papers thesis etc and uh, in the um, uh, and i have not uh, touched the teaching part mm, uh, after after um, uh, phd or after msc plus net you can enter any any um, uh, university as the assistant professor and you have a great opportunities in the usually um, uh, there is also teaching opportunity lot of opportunities in the coaching centers throughout the india lot of uh, lot of opportunities i knew many of my friends uh, they are not uh, focusing on even uh, the college teaching they are getting lakhs of lakhs of money in coaching centers so uh, you can uh, you can also try in this uh, uh, entrance coaching center. this you have a great opportunity because biotech people are having a great caliber like um, uh, great caliber they can find the coaching institutes as well as after bsc if you uh, try, if you need a job you can do a two years ph uh, so, sorry two years beard and you can enter a school uh, you, um, uh, in many states um, school teacher is paying uh, get pay, uh, paid more than a college teacher so um, so you can enter the school uh, schools as a school teacher also these are some of the opportunities is lot of i have said i think i have said a lot of opportunities a lot of opportunities uh, until now thank you for listening if you are interested in my videos please subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos please um, uh, stay tuned thank you